We can see here that we have a basic send mail task. Obviously, if it fails, etc., etc., you can then set up the SMTP connection. But we're not going to do that right now. Um, we also have DQS cleansing in here, which we actually have to set up the DQS server for, etc. We also have merge join in here, and we're not going to be using that because we're actually going to be merging two data sets. We're not going to be using a merge join, and that's kind of not exactly congruent to what it actually does because in reality it's really just a join. Um, the merge however is of course relatively new as far as I believe SQL Server 2005 and we're going to utilize it quite swiftly here. You're going to notice that we have data warehouse alpha, data warehouse beta inside of which we have our customers dimension and we have our customers dimension from our beta data warehouse arguably let's say for this instance from a specifically different organizational structure within the uh, global firm or an exogenous variable what have you um, these have a uh, required sort on the merge join of course obviously we could use merge join if we had one different data set in data warehouse alpha and another data set in data warehouse beta but we had a customer ID to bring those two uh, tables or entities together to be, able to be able to build a more fully realized table but for this scenario that's not what we want we actually just want to pull in all the new stuff from alpha all the new stuff from data beta bring it in merge it and then remove the duplicates and some people may have other methods of doing this some better some worse and in time periods of downtime when you're using parallel processing within SSIS it shouldn't be a problem you just double tap this you remove the duplicates, the duplicate sort values. Um, uh, you know, if you're going to do a process like this, generally speaking, you shouldn't be having write too many duplicates because they're from completely different entities, right? But in this instance, my data warehouse alpha and my beta are basically two copycats of AdventureWorks. So when you see me run this, um, I can I can do a uh, uh, enable a data viewer here, which by the way, guys, is is pretty cool. It does just a pop up inside when you're actually running through your task. But when I actually run this, you're going to see um, that it's going to put in about 18k. It's going to duplicate that, and then it's going to it's going to kill those off. Now, conversely, um, we'll just run through this really quickly so you can see it. Here we go. It went up to 36k. Now it's back all the way down, basically, right? Conversely, if you want to, this is a very simple query. It's just a simple dedupe script. You go off two prime, you go off your primary key and your alternate key, and you just delete basically based off that, where row count equals greater than one. Okay, um, effectively your primary key here, which is customer key. All right, so that is the primary way to do your basic ETL from multiple data warehouses down into a data mart for you to then begin consuming. If you have any questions about this, please send me a message. Thanks.